So as I understand it, you gather a bunch of kids and you mm -hmm. sit them down in chairs at tables and you lecture to them about <laughs> government all day long. Is that is that right? Not so much. No, the idea is that the students become uh, what they're learning rather than be a lecture. I, I grew up going to homeschool conferences. I was homeschooled myself. Um, I made this horrifically ironic vow at one point walking out of my ninth teen program or whatever it was at that point, I said, Lord, if for any reason you ever put me in charge of teen programs, I will never, ever make it a lecture system. And the Lord has a sense of humor, of course, and now I'm doing that sort of thing. And so we we, we follow that. We The students um, act in it. So the, the lectures, if we have them, and we do have a few, but I don't think any of them clear more than about 45 minutes, maybe an hour at most. And the idea is that the students take on the role. So it's not that you learn about being a senator, you are the senator. So you are actually making motions and passing legislation and negotiating deals and editing the documents. Or maybe you're writing, uh, you're getting a scoop on a story and writing an op-ed or uh, something of that, that nature. And so you learn the principles because you're having to actually apply them in real life. And I find that to be a far more effective method of learning. Because I think sometimes people get really frustrated with our political system for, sometimes for good reasons. And I think sometimes also for some reasons that are basically just a lack of understanding. Um, we don't understand why they do what they do, and therefore we're annoyed by it. And sometimes when you understand why they do what they do, you're like, okay, this is, this is annoying to me, but I get what they're doing and why. And that knowledge and that insight brings wisdom. I think the, the showcase of that was a couple of years ago, we had a a mom called to call our office and she was laughing and it was after the election. And, and, and she had a daughter who had been on one of our student action teams and been actually at one of our camps. And after the election, there was something happening in, in Congress and um, her uh, husband had been watching uh, something happening on the House floor and someone made a motion and someone did this, whatever. And he kind of got all bent out of shape and was grumbling and kind of ranting at it. And his daughter, who was behind the couch reading, popped up behind the couch and goes, no, no, dad, it's no big deal. What they did was, and, and she sat there and in about 20 seconds explained what had just happened and then predicted what was about to happen on the House floor of the U.S. Congress. And she's like, it's no big deal. This is a, man, a, a procedural minutia thing and it gonna, it's going to end up like that. And then it did. <laughs> and <laughs> the, the mom was like, my husband was flabbergasted. And she went back, the, the girl had gone back to her book because she, was, she wasn't interested in politics, but she understood what it meant to be a citizen and how our government worked. And he's like, where did you learn? Well, I did that at camp. I actually made the same maneuver a couple months ago. And then we talked about it with Congressman so-and-so when I was on that campaign. It's, it's normal. Oh, she's never going to, she doesn't want to be an elected official. She doesn't want to go into politics, but she knows enough and she knows more than most to be an informed citizen. And that's better for our country as a whole. And we build that every year and it's a lot of fun.